You know, um, like a lot of folks this morning, in the light of all of the police brutality and the murders that are happening in the black community, the horrible injustices that continue to plague black people, um, I know a lot of people right now are just angry and, and uh, acting out. And it is imperative that we develop the coping skills and the communication skills, the conflict resolution skills, and the courage to channel um, our anger and our frustration into constructive action. Um, Look, if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, then you need to understand that this moment in time, this is our time. This is our movement. This is our opportunity to stand for something. And if you are a reasonable, decent human being with any sort of value for life, then you need to stand up and you need to speak out. You need to organize. You need to engage. You need to take action that's effective and not destructive. We have been here too many times where there's all of this outrage uh, for, an, uh, for a month, two months, and then it dies down and everybody goes back to doing nothing. Doing nothing, ladies and gentlemen, is not an option. You know, I, I've got five, six different programs that I do uh, that I conduct through the Smith Foundation to try to be a solution generator for the problems in our society. Five different things that I'm doing and I will share with you. But if you're not going to do the five things that I'm doing, you got to go do something. You can't just be outraged here on social media and on Facebook and be mad and post and whatever and then go back to your life like you don't have a responsibility as a citizen in this country, as a neighbor in your community. You have duties and responsibilities and because we are not doing our duties and responsibilities, that's why we see our society falling apart. That's why we see America falling apart is because we have stopped striving towards the more perfect union. We have stopped striving for excellence. We have lowered our expectations over the last 40 years. We have lowered and lowered and lowered and lowered our expectations. We don't expect excellence. We got this, 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 this indecent idiot in the, in the White House who exemplifies the worst of human behavior every day. That's not a partisan attack. That is a lack of decency attack. That's a lack of humanity attack. That's a lack of, of compassion and empathy and understanding attack. He is a reflection. He is a, 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 a manifestation of what we have done over the last 40, 50 years in this country of lowering expectations. He's not the cause. He is the effect. The solution is owning your title as a citizen. Raise your standards. People tell me all the time, well, I vote for him because I like his policies. I don't like him as a person, but I like his policy. There are people in the Republican caucus who have high standards and ethics and decorum and values and morals and standards who still want the same policies as Trump. You could go support a Mitt Romney. You could have supported a John McCain. You could have supported a whole host of people who didn't lower their standards and be the worst example of human experience. So, apathy and cynicism is why we are here. And engagement and anti-apathy will be why we move away from this. So you, you need to, to, to own the fact that, that you are part of the problem. Apathy and cynicism is part of the problem. We're supposed to be moving towards a more perfect union by being engaged and owning our titles as citizens and neighbors and cousins and families and friends. That means having hard conversations. That means being honest about our, our, our values or lack thereof. There is stuff we can do. This is fixable. But we have to embrace our duties as citizens. We have to embrace, you know, what I'm calling the, the, the eight C's, the coping skills, communication skills, conflict resolution skills, courage, commitment, critical thinking, compassion. I forget the other one. I, I, just, I just needed to say that 
because as I'm, I'm engaging here and I'm seeing all of this outrage on social media, I just, I, I just, I'm just begging and pleading that you turn your concern, you turn your outrage into some constructive lifetime engagement towards excellence because that's what it requires. It requires a lifetime commitment to excellence and owning your titles, being involved, go get involved in somebody's organization that fights for egalitarian causes and tactics and, and solutions. Go get involved with one of the there's tons of organizations out here. It's not just about voting. People of like-minded humanity and kindness and generosity and empathy and, 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 and egalitarian principles have to stand up and hold each other accountable for that. And when you don't own that or when you don't do or represent what's best in us, we need to call you out and call that out and stop putting and lending your support to people who are bad, who are ugly, who are disrespectful, who are hateful,